Good morning and welcome to this August 31st version of From Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. Before I begin today's time together, looking, continuing to look into the Gospel of Matthew, starting with chapter 12 this week, I want to take a moment to recognize the fact that we are now in uh, hurricane season. Uh, we've been through one here on, the, on our coast, but nothing quite like what hit uh, Texas and Louisiana uh, last week. And I want to say a special prayer for those folks in the path of those storms or in the path of any storm in life, really, that, um, that we would be in prayer for those folks and remember that they are so much in need of, of our support and our prayers and, of course, of God's grace. So uh, I want to invite you in your prayers to remember all of those who are in harm's way due to, due to these terrible uh, forces of, of nature. I also want to remind all the seasiders that today is the final day to complete the worship survey. We have been working on ways to try to get back into the uh, get back into the building, and today at 5:30 uh, we will close the worship uh, survey, and we will be reporting our findings to the task force for reopening uh, on Wednesday of, of this week. So please, if you haven't done that. Uh, go online today or call the church office uh, and we'll get you the link. Um, but but do that so your voice and your input can be received into this uh, into this very important decision that we're making. With that, I want to now uh, turn to Matthew chapter 12. We won't get very far into it today because of those other two announcements. But I want to talk a little bit about what Jesus is, is engaged in here in, in chapter 12. He's dealing with, uh, with issues about the Sabbath and what the Sabbath is. I want you to think what, what the Sabbath really is. Uh, now, of course, uh, we know that Sabbath day is the day that God rested. And here in uh, beginning in, in chapter 12, we, we read a story about uh, the disciples going out and uh, they're plucking ears of corn or heads of grain to eat. Um, and when he does that, Pharisees see it and said, look, your disciples are doing what is not lawful to do on the Sabbath. Well, what they're doing is is meeting a basic human need. They're, they're addressing their hunger. Now, the Pharisees were believing that um, you just didn't do any kind of work on the Sabbath. But what Jesus is trying to say here, and he's basing this off of some passages in Deuteronomy 23, 25, and Exodus 34, 21, that God doesn't ignore human need, even on the Sabbath. God doesn't ignore human need, even on the Sabbath. Second issue uh, that there's something greater than the temple. There is something greater than maintaining the building uh, because, as I've said before, the church is not a building. It's the body of Christ. And third, that if you're going to condemn the hungry for plucking grain on the Sabbath, then you're out of step with God. You don't understand the compassionate God that has created us. So that's kind of why I led today with those two announcements about those in the hurricanes and the worship survey. And I hope that we will remember these three points, particularly when it comes to the issues we'll be discussing about Sabbath law this week from sunrise to sunset. 